Hello and good afternoon. Uh, as you already heard, my name is Martin Rother and I'm the Deputy Consul General uh, of Germany here in Toronto. A big thank you to the organizers of today's rally and an even bigger thank you for, to you all for coming here out today and to show your solidarity with the international and true hatred movement. A few hours ago, a large crowd gathered in Berlin demanding the same thing that brings us here today to Nathan Phillips Square. The demand for public self-expression as Jews without fear. And let me be clear, Jüdisches Leben ist keine Provokation. In English, Jewish life is no provocation. Seventy-six years after the liberation of Auschwitz, here I stand as the representative of Germany, and I wish I could say that the remembrance of the Holocaust has made us immune against the evil of anti-Semitism. History is a warning, and the present is a call for action. We must show determination, we must stand shoulder to shoulder with our fellow Jewish citizens and fight anti-Semitism. Those who until now have remained silent have to speak up. Germany's 2020 chairmanship of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance puts us right where we want to be, fighting anti-Semitism in alliance with like-minded partners based on international cooperation and achieving crucial milestones on the way like the creation of a global task force against Holocaust denial and distortion, among many others. To quote our Foreign Minister Heiko Maas, in so doing we are sending a signal of international cooperation, which is something we absolutely need when it comes to both, remembering the horrors of the past and shaping our future. For only by joining forces we can take action against the growing trend to distort the historical record and to discriminate and help strengthen open and tolerant democracies around the world. My country, the Federal Republic of Germany, has been built on the promise never again. We are committed to this responsibility and to protect Jewish life, to fight anti-Semitism anti and to stand with Israel. Thank you very much.